Aloha, I'm Devin with TNC Surf. With so many variations and fins out there, it can be confusing and overwhelming for surfers to determine the right fins for the board they already have or the board that they want. Factors such as material of the fins, size, quantity, rake, shape, all these characteristics can vary from fin to fin and dramatically affect how your surfboard performs. Let's get started with my conversation with legendary surfboard shaper Glenn Pang, where we talk all things fins. A single fin is more of a kind of a cruisy feel, more old school. So even though guys can still do high performance maneuvers on a single fin, but mainly it's used for like a retro board or a long board. Usually a single fin is taller, right? So it doesn't release as quick as a shorter fin. Two plus one, normally using like a big, bigger center fin, smaller front fin. So it's kind of in the middle of a single fin, it'll, it's probably gonna be a little bit looser than a straight single fin. You're using a smaller center fin to like um, side bites. Twin pins are normally bigger than the thruster side pin. Gives you more drive because it's a bigger fin. You don't have a center fin with a twin fin, even though our twin fins do come with a little trailer to kind of help stabilize it. Gives you a little bit more drive, but without the center fin, the boards are a lot faster. The center fin gives so much drag. You can really feel the difference in speed riding a straight twin as compared to like a twin with a trailer. Because you are you don't have that center fin, so the board's gonna be a lot looser, even though the, fin, the front fins are bigger, more drivey with a bigger fin. It's just a different type of turning that you're getting with a bigger fin. Boards are designed differently than a thruster, thruster setup. Probably the most versatile, most widely used fin setup. The best overall feel you're gonna get, like loose, drivey. So what else you do you do? Uh, pretty much whatever you wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's gonna be drivier because you have three fins, holds better, depending on what your fin setup is. So. Quad setup, uh, similar to a twin fin is gonna be faster because there's no center fin. Quads tend to draw longer lines, so normally what I recommend on a quad is you get something that the front fin's a little bit more straight up and down because if you use the same, let's say, front fins as your thruster, the board will tend to hold too long a line. The quads tend to draw longer lines, so you, normally I recommend having like more of a pivoty front fin so the board will still release. So now that you've learned what types of boards perform with what type of fin configurations, we're gonna dive a little deeper. Fins are constructed of three different types of materials and they all perform quite differently. Let's take a look. There's fiberglass, plastic, and honeycomb. The honeycomb would be a lot lighter, stiffer, depending on the fuel you're looking for, what you want on your boards. This one's probably the stiffest, the honeycombs. Stiffer, but it still bends. I mean, it might feel stiff, but if you're like, doing a turn, this thing still bends. Like all of these fins will bend. It's not like there's no flex to these fins. This is a different type of flex. It's probably a quicker reaction than any of the other two with the honeycomb. Just a quicker spring rack, quicker reaction time to the fins. Plastic would be the most flexy. Price point's the best. Uh, more flexy for sure, has like a different flex pattern as compared to the fiberglass and the honeycomb. It's not a quick, uh, reflex with the plastic as compared to with the fiberglass and the uh, honeycombs. It's going to be a slower reaction. It's not going to give you as much spring, a quicker spring when you do your turns. And fiberglass is probably somewhere in the middle of the two. I mean, it's all individual preference again. Like a lot of guys, um, especially on like uh, bigger waves, like the feel of the fiberglass. They just, the flex pattern of fiberglass, it's what like fins were made of from the very beginning, you know? So a lot of the good surfers are using fiberglass in like good waves. At this point in the video, you may have determined that a single fin or a twin fin appeals to you more than let's say a thruster. And you want more fluidity in your turn, so you decide to go with a fiberglass fit. But now we're gonna get into the more technical part of the video. These are the final factors to consider when purchasing a surfboard fin in order to ensure that you're surfing to the best of your ability. Fin base. This is the widest point of the fin where the fin meets the board. This feature of a fin affects speed and drive. The wider the base, the more hold and drive. The more narrow the base, the faster and looser. This leads us to our next point. Fin rake. Rake is the distance a fin curves away from the base. This affects the turning ability of the surfboard. More rake is less ability to pivot. Less rake is more ability to pivot. 
fin foil, <laughs> front fins normally have a flat on one side and the foil on the outside, uh, whereas the center fin on the thr thruster will have foils on both sides, like curve on both sides. Curve holds more water. The, the water wrap around a curve, whereas the flat, the water will release more on the, the flat side of the fin. It loosens it up if the water flows around the fin. So if you get a, a fin that has a, let's say a thicker fin, the water is wrapping around more. It's a looser fin than a flatter fin. This curve versus flat concept is also explained in our surfboard rocker video. Watching our video on rocker will definitely give you a better understanding of how a curved surface interacts with water compared to a flat surface. I put a link in the description, so be sure to watch that video right now. Let's get back to fin characteristics. Water flow. From here to here is a straighter line than from here wrapping around here because this has curves, so the water takes a longer time to get from this outer edge as compared to the inner edge. It's a shorter distance on the inside of the fin as compared to the outside of the fin. Some fins even have a little concave on the inside to make the water flow a little different. Probably holds the water a little bit more. Fin can't. Okay, the straighter the fins are, the faster the board will go, but not roll as much. Won't go on rail as easy. If you can't the fins out a little bit more, the board goes on rail easier but it's gonna be a little bit slower. So drastic, if you have the fins way like canted like that, it'll go rail to rail super easy, but be super slow. When they set the fins, they have like a certain amount of degrees. Six and seven is kind of like average. Futures has the, the cant built into the fin, whereas uh, FCS, um, the cant is in the, the plugs. It's either you're a future guy or an FCS guy. Some guys have both FCS and Futures. Majority of the surfers are either all Futures or all FCS. Normally the bigger fins are for bigger guys. You get more hold, more drive. So normally the fins are suited to the, the person's weight. Uh, lighter guys, smaller fins, bigger guys, bigger fins. Because the bigger guys normally turn harder. And smaller guys, Turn, don't turn as hard, so they don't need as much fin to push around. You just want smaller fin, just geared for their size, so it's the optimal um, looseness for the size fin. If you want to start looking and acting like a pro in and out of the water, then you need to watch our surfboard education playlist right now. We teach you everything from surfboard performance to surfboard selection and anything else you need to know on surfboard related topics. Be sure to be a part of the TNC team by subscribing and check out our website, tcsurf.com, for the highest quality surfboards and the best Hawaii style apparel and accessories. Mahalo for watching and see you next time. Shit! Oh, oh, oh. No way. Fuck, that was crazy.